Hey guys, Justin with Landscaping Entrepreneur. Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Gusto. As you guys might know, I started, uh, I switched over to a new payroll service from our local one. I switched over to Gusto. Uh, Gusto is an online based payroll service, kind of like Airbnb or Uber, something like that. Um, <clears throat> the modern Silicon Valley payroll system. The reason I switched over to it was because of their onboarding option. The automated onboarding I got tired of um, hiring people and having to uh, do all the paperwork chase them down for their w9 or i9s w4s making sure they had all their paperwork in um, so gusto had a self onboarding process where all you do is type in their name and email address and it signs they, they sign up themselves so the apparel service we were using the local one was very dated this one was very modern so I thought it was worth it to switch just for the convenience of not having to chase people down for paperwork to get offload some of the administrative. Uh, that part held true. It's pretty awesome. Um, but then I started realizing some downfalls with Gusto. Uh, one of them is that with our last payroll service, we could submit our payroll on Thursday by 4 p.m. and pay people on Friday. This worked out great because for cash flow, we... Uh, we send out our invoices every week on Monday. We ch we charge the credit cards on Wednesday. We get the cash on Thursday. So there's a lot of money there, and we plan on the cash coming in and being able to be there just in time as payroll goes out. So it worked out pretty well for us. However, when we switched to Gusto, we quickly found out that they take out the money on Mondays, which means the payrolls be submitted by Monday. So there's a rush to get payroll in, and... Um, <clears throat> And then also there's a cash flow crunch. So that was the first problem we ran we ran into. And what we've been doing to resolve that is we pretty much just push all our, our, um, our cash flow back. So basically, rather than the money I get in that Thursday using for payroll, I save the money from the week before. So pretty much just pushed all the cash flow back one week, which isn't the end of the world. But, you know, cash flow is very important. So that was the first problem we ran into. The second problem we ran into was um, the time off function. So the time off is great because we didn't have a way to handle time off for employees and to manage all that. And they have a great system where you can submit it. Um, they log in, submit it. It shows like right when you log in your home screen. So it's a great way to keep track of it. Um, unfortunately, though, I put in if you put in zero hours for time off, um, that the, the number of paid hours we just found out yesterday that it actually just pays people anyway. So we've had people who requested eight hours time off and then the system pays them for eight hours even though we said zero hours are supposed to get paid. So that's obviously an issue that we have to address. Um, we probably won't, but then again, you know, that system was something we didn't know we were gonna have, the ability to use time off. I just thought it was an added bonus. So we're still gonna use that system. We're just gotta remember to deduct the time manually from their paycheck, which is annoying. Um, another downfall is that <clears throat> the um, deductions, so we have a, um, an employee that has to get child support deductions. Our last payroll company would deduct it and mail it to the, you know, the government, whereas now Gusto does not mail it to the government, they just deduct it. So that's annoying because we have to mail a bill paycheck. Um, and the last problem is that our last payroll company, when we have administ our admin submit the hours to payroll, that's all they see is the hours. They don't see the pay rates. Uh, Gusto needs an administrative um, login so you can control who gets to see what information, and they don't have that right now. So anyway, Gusto, I, I like it. I'm still glad I made the switch. Just there's there are some downfalls that you should be aware of, and I wish I knew about. And I also think that they're new companies, so they're going to fix those things in the future. But I would still recommend Gusto overall.